Fiber, the missing food source for weight loss. We often overlook our need for fiber because we associate it with the stuff that our grandparents take to stay regular. But fiber is a powerful nutrient, especially for weight loss. Eating more fiber can help you lose weight, even if it's the only change you make to your diet. And that's right guys, fiber can actually help you lose fat. Before we go on, please hit the like and share button so I know that these videos are helping you with your fitness journey. We all know that fiber will help fight against heart disease, cholesterol, diabetes, and colon cancer, but it also plays a role in weight loss. The fiber we consume from plant foods is called dietary fiber. Dietary fiber can be broken down into two forms called soluble and insoluble fiber. Health experts recommend men to consume 30 to 35 grams of fiber per day and women about 20 to 25 grams per day. On average, most people consume only 12 grams of fiber a day. Soluble fiber, as the name implies, dissolves in water. It attracts water and turns to gel during digestion. This slows digestion. Insoluble fiber, again, as the name implies, does not dissolve in water, causing an increase in fiber bulk in stools. This means it helps you pass poop faster. Now some sources of fiber. Grains such as quinoa has five grams per cup. Oats has four grams per cup. Legumes such as kidney beans has 13 grams per cup. Lentils has about 15 grams per cup. Uh, nuts and seeds, for example, peanuts has 17 grams per cup. Chia seeds has 10 grams per two tablespoons and fruits such as raspberries has about eight grams per cup. Vegetables such as carrots has five grams per cup. Broccoli has three grams per cup. And supplements, fiber gummies has five grams per two gummies and Krista chocolate chips have five grams per 15 grams. And now that you have all this information, I know we want to get started and eat as much fiber as possible, but I strongly recommend that you track your food for a day and get an idea of how much fiber you're currently eating. Then go by five grams a day and then increase by five grams until you hit your weekly targets. I hope you found this video informative. Make sure to give it a like, share, and in the comments post how you get your fiber for the day. I'll see you guys on the next episode of Nearest Kitchen. Bye guys.